never really had a religious upbringing background. So, but with this inability to, to accept that named, so you must be an atheist. Well, no, because I don't know what atheist means. And I haven't got time in this life to look up, look it up. I haven't got time to argue and, and discuss that what is simply a word, a term. I'm not denying atheism. I'm not denying any religious um, name. We're all looking for the same thing. We're all looking for peace, tranquility and happiness. And if there's a God, which some may believe, some may have experienced, some may disbelieve, then so be it. When you look at life as it is, there has to be a God. There has to be something that creates this. It doesn't have to be a figurine, an iconic light. It can be something that is very, very spiritual, very scientific or very organic. But if I go to the Bible, since my, oh, since the, the profound experience of uh, complete dissolution and uh, annihilation of fear and all these disgusting terms that humanity used, death, fear, worry, depression, anxiety, stress, pain, illness, since the annihilation of all these terms, these things exist, but they're just names, they're terms. I took the opportunity to read the Bible, read the Bhagavad Gita, for some sort of confirmation, some sort of conclusion. And the Bible has a conclusion. Unless, and I very much doubt it, there may be some historians out there that says there's going to be another chapter written into the Bible. And unless there is, Revelation is the end. Revelation is the finish of the book. And we are all waiting for this revelation. But we are this revelation. We are the result of every single chapter before revelation in the Bible, every single book. For all these saints and wars and prophets, prophets and spiritual masters from every nation, from every culture who fought and died, Christ and Moses and Every single one fought to get revelation. Revelation means this is a revelation. This is absolutely revealing. This is revealing. What do we think we have to fight on? Because of, oh, let's wait for the next chapter. Let's wait for the new beginning. This is the new beginning. But we mistrust. We don't accept. We don't have faith. We want more. Like every other book we read, once we get to the end, I want another chapter. I want another book. I want another one from that one. We're not happy with what we have, you see. Who wants to write another book? Who wants to go through all this again? Who wants to go through Revelation? It's disgusting, all these depressed and unhappy minds. This can't be revelation, can it? Is this what Christ was prophesizing? Where are the chariots? Where are the horses? Where are all these are all <sighs> hypothetical situations. To really think there is more than this is absolute nonsense. Meaning more in the sense that who wants more than this? Who wants more breath? No one wants less breath. Who wants five dimension, six dimension? Who are these wanting minds that seem to just drift around in revelation? And if a few just simply wallow 
in adoration of the revelation of being here. This is incredible. It matters not if there's pain in this body now. It's incredible to be part of this, part of the pain. It matters not if the world is at war. The fighting is taking place on this incredible planet. Because Revelation suggests the end, we think this is the end. When the body goes, it's the end. Revelation, revelation means ongoing life. It means those that are born in this period of time have already, already know what God is, already know what Brahman, Absolute, whatever name you want to give it, consciousness is. But we damn well love forgetting. We damn well love going into the past of resurrection, of historical times, as if we have to do it all over again. Like we haven't done enough. This God is not what you make of it. It doesn't go down the route of you have to do all these seven, ten commandments. That was years ago. These commandments were the path that all these people, historical cultures, saints, Teachers, masters, homeless, paupers, tramps, prophets, sages, they all went down this path to get to Revelation. And we're not happy with Revelation, we want to change it. Let's build more empires, more towers, more. Let's cut down this planet, let's do everything we possibly can. So that someone sometime writes another chapter because we hate this, this, we hate this, it's so uncomfortable. We're not meant to be happy. The Bible is depressing. It says everyone should everyone should be sinners. Everyone is sinners. Revelation. It's a revelation just to be alive. Even in illness. Even illness makes you more aware of being in a revelation. This body lay on a bed, ripped open, arteries open, heart stopped, blood everywhere. It woke up. What a revelation. What a revelation. We're not happy though. We want to be alive, but we want something else. We want another. We want to see what Christ sees. You can't see what Christ see, sees. You are Christ. We're all spirits that evolve from this beautiful biblical story where all these wonderful people sacrificed everything for you, for us to be here in a beautiful, beautiful planet. There's peace everywhere. Not in your mind. Not in the thoughts. Because we keep going into the past and reading the Bible and thinking, yes, we have to suffer like them. We have to suffer. We have to do what they did. All the people that go to war, what do they go to war for? All these grandfathers and fathers right now, sons, what do they go to war for? So that there's an end to war. They want to go to war to end war. To find some sort of solution, some, some sort of peace. And that's what they all did. All these chapters in the Bible, all these people, they went to war so that everything could be revealed as peace, tranquility. And we think there's people behind creating this war. It's our own inability to accept that we are the result of all these suffering people. We are the gifted. We are the ones that have been given a life free of war. But we want to create more war. We want to create more division. This human race is so reptilian. It's so Neanderthal. It's so, uh, I want to go backwards. I want to live in the past. 
I want to live in the past. I have to do what my grandfather, great, 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 great grandfathers did because they had to fight. We have to fight. We have to fight. We have to fight. We have to fight. And one day, one day there'll be revelation. The book in the Bible will come to fruition. God Almighty, it's halfway through. <laughs> There's no more chapters. Ongoing infinite revelation. Not biblical, not in the least. Not even a person, not an atheist, not a man, not a saint, not a sinner. Just, just grateful to be here. Completely grateful for this breath to keep coming and going. Anything else? Bonus. Bonus meaning, well, yeah, we live in a world where people give us things and take things. So you can take. No, no, no charge. No, no. You take. You take. Whatever you want, take. If you want to give, you give. You give it to me, I'll give it to them. You know, let's pass it around. Let's share this revelation. Let's reveal ourselves as what we truly are. We are here to be gifted. We're not here to be slaves and trained and 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 tortured and 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 ruled over and guided. We are saints. We are all saints. We are all spiritual beings with a body, reaping those that sacrificed thousands and thousands of years to get to Revelation. And now we're here. We want to delve into the past and look for another book, another chapter, another new beginning. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about the Bible. I don't know anything about the Bhagavad Gita. I don't know anything about any book, any person. I don't know anything. I'm quite ignorant of what's taking place. But I know one thing. Life is for living. Life is for being here. Life is for gratitude, for thank, thankfulness. Life is infinitely beautiful. This world, this earth, this planet, this universe is mysteriously magnificent. And everything that lives on it is also magnificent, including you, including your, the bad guys, the good guys. Inside, something reveals and revels in this revelation that is here right now. Namaste.